Hello and welcome back to The Great Debate, the show where we shed light on your debate topics. Today we will be interviewing the U.S. President Harry Truman about the Cold War. Welcome. So, President Truman, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Of course. Okay. Let's carry on then. Don't feel pressured to answer if you don't want to. Of course. I will answer with my utmost honesty. Okay. Here is my first question. Regarding the Marshall Plan, why did it require agreements from Europeans as a whole instead of individual nations? Well, the Marshall Plan was made to provide economic recovery towards Western Europe. I believe Europe should focus on its growth as a whole in order to steadily improve European prosperity throughout the nation. I see, I see. And were those your only intentions with the Marshall Plan? Yes. We had nothing but good intentions, and the Marshall Plan helped many of the countries torn by the events of World War II recover economically. Alright. Now, moving on to the next question. What led to your decision to approve the bombing of the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Uh, well, there were no signs of surrender from the Japanese, and many young men were being killed for no reason on the battlefield. Thus, with this in mind, we felt the unfortunate usage of the atomic bomb necessary. So, I've heard the usage of the atomic bomb has caused the destruction of two entire cities and the deaths of an innumerable amount of human lives. Don't you think you could have convinced Japanese to surrender in a more diplomatic way? Uh, well, the atomic bomb was necessary to end Japan's continuous rampage, and the Japanese warped way of thinking to never surrender to the enemy it ruined any chance of the surrendering any other way. It is very unfortunate, but it was necessary to end the war as a whole as well. If that is what you believe the public should know, very well. On to the next question it is. So... Why did you negotiate with other countries to get a more favorable outcome in the decision of what to keep during the war? Uh, the offers that were negotiated with other countries were fair and dealt with peacefully. They have agreed to our negotiations without any tension, which has also benefited them in other ways. Then, why would you go as far as to threaten nations with attacks or bombing them? Uh, we negotiated for what we thought was the best outcome for both sides. We had no real intention for of attacking nor bombing any other nations. However, we needed the other countries to comply with us. You had threatened other countries with attacks as a bluff? Uh, well, yes, compliance from the other nations was very crucial, and it was wise of them to not risk it after the Japanese surrendered. I see. Well, thank you for answering our questions. This has been The Great Debate, and we hope to see you soon. Wait, what?